Hi, hello, excuse me. Are you telling me that this whole time it hasn't been hormones? It's been histamines? Because what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hmm? Hmm? All day today, I had to actively, actively try to convince myself not to eat myself out the window. And then I realized I'm only three days from my period. That's got to be it. And I remembered someone saying, Pepsi DC for PMG. And I thought, I will try anything. So I said to my husband, please, please, on your way home from work, can you, can you stop home and get me some? I took one an hour ago. An hour ago. No eating. I feel normal-ish, you know, relatively speaking. Mm, 25 years? 25 years! I did this every month. Every month. You're telling me all I had to do this whole time, this whole time, was to take a histamine blocker? Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board certified allergist. I have been asked this question many times whether Pepsid AC, which is famotidine, an H2 blocker, could be a potential treatment for PMDD. And I want to preface this by saying I'm not an expert on PMDD. My expertise lies in the role of histamine and how it functions normally and abnormally in the body. I have spent a considerable amount of time combing through the medical literature to see if this has been well studied, and unfortunately, I have not found any clinical trials where they compare people who are experiencing PMDD and being treated with an H2 blocker like Pepsid AC versus a placebo. So it's hard for physicians to be able to directly recommend something like Pepsid AC for the treatment of PMDD. Also, I do not believe that the role of histamine in the underlying pathophysiology of PMDD has been fully fleshed out, but I have seen some evidence that histamine in its interactions with the H3 receptor in the brain may have a role in changing the regulation of serotonin in the brain that has some type of role in the pathophysiology of PMDD. So could there be a role of Pepsid AC in treating PMDD? It's possible, but it's hard to really give good clinical guidance on this, and it's best to talk with your doctor one-on-one -on -one to go over the potential risks and benefits of this type of treatment.